Finally tonight, a town and its beloved team out to prove that their best days are not behind them. The story just begging for a Hollywood ending and getting it. Our Maggie Ruley now with more. It's bobsled time! Cool runnings. All of the Rockies. Heck, even dodgeball. Everybody loves a good underdog. And as a fifth tier team, kind of like the most minor, minor league baseball team, Wrexham is definitely an underdog. But every game night, the local pub is packed. For lots of people, it's, it's about trying to sound hyperbolic. It's, it, it is their life. My family watched Wrexham, and my family before that have watched Wrexham, and that's how it's always been, so yeah. In Wrexham, football, soccer to us Americans, really is life. We're a small town. It's just a footballing town. It's hard to describe if you're not from here, I guess. Wayne Jones has owned the turf for 14 years and says it doesn't matter that the team is in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back losing seasons. This town always shows up for their team. But tonight in North Wales, there's an extra buzz in the air because tonight, Hollywood is watching. We really think the sky's the limit. These two, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, have become the new and unlikely owners of Wrexham Football Club. I wake up and first thing I think is have we really been taken over by two Hollywood superstars. Is Deadpool really bought Wrexham Football Club? And it's quite surreal. Things like this don't happen to little old Wrexham. Now, Ryan and Rob can't make it here just yet because of travel restrictions, but don't worry, we brought their uh, spirit with us to help you picture it. Yes, yes! Hollywood stars in Wrexham, a former industrial town just across the border into Wales, about 40 minutes from Liverpool. The team, the third oldest football club in the world, with some moments of glory in the past. Here is Vos, great dribbling by Don Vos, and still Vos, he gets past another, oh, what a goal! Don Vos! But few and far between in recent years. Despite the losses, thousands still show up for every game. Team captain Sean Pearson says playing for Wrexham is like nowhere else. I think one thing this place does like a lot of, you know, working class towns, they come together in difficult times. When the team almost went bankrupt nine years ago, it was the fans who came to their rescue. Some locals pulling together their life savings to raise enough money to buy the team. And this year, another challenge. This season has been so tough because of COVID. Some of the players have had the virus. They've had to reschedule games. This one included. Normally, these stands are absolutely packed with fans. But both players and fans say that this new ownership is exactly the hope they need. Could Deadpool and Mac from Always Sunny really save the day over Zoom? It was just a really strange evening. We, we had a couple of friends around, um, and when we seen Ryan Reynolds had logged on, we kind of thought, yeah, this is <laughs> it's not quite right. And then, then my wife nearly passed out when his face came on the screen. Um, uh, yeah, crazy. Ryan and Rob set up a video call to win over that 2,000-plus strong group of fans that now own the team. We're guardians of this great football club. Spencer Harris, the team's director and one of many volunteers who currently run the club, says from day one he knew Ryan and Rob were serious. One of the very first things that they said to me was, we, you know, we're, we're big sports fans, we know how to, to run businesses, what we don't know is football. And that gives, uh, gives you a lot of confidence when you're talking to people who are humble enough to say, I don't know. They were also quick to embrace the team sponsor. Try Ivor Williams Trailers. Ivor Williams Trailers has been Britain's leading trailer manufacturer for over 60 years. Why are Rob and I pitching a North Whalian trailer manufacturer? Well, because we just became owners of Wrexham Association Football Club and they're our team sponsor. You may have never heard of Wrexham, the race course ground, or Ivor Williams, but you will. We are humbled and we're already getting to work. <laughs> oh, it. it all worked. Just decide to entrust it to you. The fans voted 98% in favor of their new famous owners. Ivor Williams trailers. When we visited E4 Williams, we found that they, like Ryan, are still in shock that their trailer company has now gone viral. Oh, it's fantastic for the club, the town, North Wales as a whole. It's brilliant. Puts North Wales on the map worldwide. It's just incredible and a real boost for the community in the time we most need it. A former mining town, Wrexham was struggling economically even before COVID hit. A lot of shops have closed. There's a lot of empty premises, a lot of charity shops, um, and 
the high street doesn't look as anywhere near as vibrant as it used to. Peter Maddox has been coming to Wrexham Games for more than 60 years and says he's seen how the town has changed, but also how the team can bring the town back. If this club does well, the town will do well. The, the two are inextricably linked. In just one week, they've already sold half as many jerseys as they normally do in one year. Many complete with custom Reynolds and Michelini on the back. Do you think you'll become a Wrexham fan now? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to be here. I'm going to get a season ticket. Yeah. Are you going to get season tickets because of Ryan and Rob coming in as the new owners? Yeah, we wouldn't have got them otherwise. Oh, really? Yeah, definitely. Of course, it's got to be about Ryan and Rob. Yeah. All eyes are on this small town in North Wales with a team that's a little guy with a lot of heart. Well, I'm sure they could have got involved with the football club a couple of rungs higher than where we are currently, but it was the journey that they were really interested in and where the fun will be in seeing how far we can go. But for now, the town is focused on this season. Do you have any message for Ryan and Rob? Uh, <laughs> um, buckle up, it's going to get emotional. <laughs> I think it'll be the making of this place. They'll certainly be welcome with open arms and um, they'll certainly, well, they won't have to buy a beer, that's for sure. What was expected to be a nail-biter ended in a Wrexham 4 to nothing win. The team seems to be on a winning streak. Quite fitting, as this underdog story is only just getting started. Raise your voices to the anthem. Maggie Bruley, ABC News, Wrexham. And like Maggie says, everybody loves an underdog. Go Wrexham. We are all rooting for you. Our thanks to Maggie. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.